Well, at long last, in this series, we're going to take our first look today at organ music scores and how they're constructed and laid out. We're also going to take a pretty good close look at pedal boards, like this pedal board here. This pedal board has 30 pedals. It goes from low C to high F, almost two and a half octaves. It's not uncommon to find a 30 note pedal board in Europe and in England and you know, Australia and in places where this has been the tradition. But in America, we normally have a 32 note pedal board. Now, this is an organ built upon a historic model and that's the reason I believe that this organ would be having 30 notes in the pedal board. The um, pedal board is consistently the same distance from the floor, from top to bottom. It doesn't curve, it doesn't look concave. People describe this in the industry as a flat pedal board. You can see that you may have to turn your foot a little bit to reach the extremes. It takes a little getting used to, but it's a traditional flat pedal board as was commonly found in the Baroque. Now let's take a look at pedal boards from a modern 20th century style American organ. Here we have a full 32 note pedal board. It extends from low C up through high G, some two and a half octaves higher. As you'll see, it's slightly concave and it's radiating. And there's a purpose for this. As an organist is centrally seated on a bench and needs to reach occasionally to the extremes of the pedal board range, it's easier to play and easier to reach for most people to have the pedal board in a radiating design. Now, organ builders have discussed the pedal board specifications as well as all of the dimensional relationships between the keyboards and the pedal board and how they affect the player. And actually, the American Guild of Organists has determined a recommendation for all of these dimensions. And it includes a pedal board such as we see here. There is a variation within some of these specifications, but they are made by the AGO, and many builders, especially American builders, follow these specifications so that an organist can go from one organ to another, sometimes organs built over a period of 50 or 60 different years, and still have a minimum guaranteed level of familiarity and comfort Regardless of the type of pedal board you have on the organ where you normally will play, it's a good idea to seek out instruments that have different styles of pedal board. Practice there occasionally. That way when you have to go substitute or find a new organ, you'll adapt to it much more quickly. If you've followed this video series from the beginning, you've probably long since figured out that the bottom half of any of the manuals is the area that is also represented by the entire 32 note pedal board. On this organ we have a two and a half octave span here which I'm pointing out. Now I have this division coupled to the pedal and what I'm going to do is play those exact two notes at the extreme upper and lower ranges of the pedal board. First the low C and now the high G. Same sounds as we have here because they are coupled right now to the pedal. Now let's try our very first pedal exercise. With your left foot and using your left toe only, please play an E major scale by tapping each of the pedals in that scale from the bottom up one octave, starting at the lowest E on the pedal board. Here we go.
Now, with your right foot and your right toe only, take the top E on the pedal board. Start there and play a one octave descending E major scale. Now, we are at a pedal board which is concave and radiating. It is allowing us to use both heels and toes when playing. We're going to play those same scales in the same ranges with the same feet, but this time we're going to use the heels to play some of the notes. Obviously, you're not going to be putting your heel on a sharp. So, you can start by thinking heels on naturals and toes on sharps. Here we go. With the right foot descending, we start with our right heel on a natural. Eventually, you will be able to make these scales legato by practicing legato technique between heel and toe, and also by using a technique called substitution. In piano playing, substitution is when you substitute one finger for another while keeping a key down in order to make certain stretches. In pedal substitution, we are substituting a toe for a heel while the note is depressed. Sometimes the substitution occurs between two different feet, but often it will occur within the same foot between heel and toe or toe and heel. This allows us to get a legato technique uh, in order to uh, go from toe to heel to keep those legato passages intact. These are all pedal techniques that you'll come to know as you gain experience in pedaling. This is a good time to take a look at a typical organ music score. A pianist would know what a piano score is like because it's most often written on only two staves. In an organ score, we have that pair of staves for manuals, two, and then under that we have the pedal line. So altogether, it's a three-stave score. Although we've only had a glimpse now at pedaling and have tapped out scales with our toes and seen just a little bit about use of the heels, it's important at this point to think of pedaling with both feet working as a unit. Alternate the feet and have them share equally in the playing in all ranges of the pedal board and alternate toes and heels for maximum comfort and minimum movement in order to accomplish what you're playing. You'll be far better served to master these techniques early on as you become a new organist. Musical scholars from time to time have written about pedaling, especially in old times like in Bach's day. Some claim that he used just his toes when pedaling, while today modern pedal technique would allow us to use both toes and heels. You know, it makes sense to use all toes on this style of pedal board, a flat pedal board, where especially the sharps are just a little bit less long than uh, pedals, sharps you might find on a modern pedal board. So I'm going to play for you with all toes, and we're going to hear a little bit of what Bach wrote for the organ, for pedals alone. 